Wet cough, also called as productive <coughs> cough, is a cough that produces <coughs> mucus or phlegm. <coughs> there is another type of cough called dry cough. The treatment modalities for dry cough and productive cough are different. Remember, coughing is nothing but a reflex or a defense mechanism that helps protect your body from irritants like dust in the air. It is an important way of clearing infected secretions from the lungs. So when you have a productive cough, the aim of the treatment is not to suppress the cough but to improve the efficiency of the cough to help clear the airways. Now let's discuss some natural or home remedies and medicines for a productive cough. But remember, these remedies are specially recommended for adults. Now let's start. Steam can help break down the mucus causing a chesty cough and help you to cough it up. Use a room vaporizer or sit down with your head over a bowl of hot water and a towel over your head to inhale the steam. You can also add menthol, camphor or eucalyptus to the water. Children should try sitting in a hot, steamy bathroom rather than use of a bowl of hot water to reduce the risk of burns. Natural bees honey is one of the most effective ways of treating wet cough. It has antibacterial properties and act as a wound healer. Honey reduces pain and inflammation. A small clinical trial found that taking 1.5 teaspoon of honey 30 minutes before the bed can help reduce cough and encourage sound sleep. You can mix honey with tea or warm lemon water. It is helpful in healing sore throats. But here you should remember one thing. Never give honey to a child under 1 year old. It can cause a rare complication called infant botulism or floppy baby syndrome. It is due to ingestion of a bacterial toxin which can be present in honey. It is harmless to other kids and adults. A humidifier can help you avoid breathing in dry air. This is particularly helpful at night when the throat naturally dries out. A dry throat may be more prone to irritation and inflammation. Phlegm in the respiratory tract becomes thinner and easier to move out of the lungs. Taking a steamy shower can help moisten your upper airways. It may also help break up the mucus in your chest. Try to stay in the shower or in the steamy bathroom for at least 5 minutes. You can repeat this process as needed. Ginger is packed with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. According to a study, few cups of ginger tea per day may help soothe inflammation in your throat while keeping you hydrated. Research shows that both thyme and clove have antimicrobial properties. They may help your body fight off the upper respiratory tract infection. Add fresh thyme and clove leaves to the boiling water. Allow to boil for 10 minutes and then strain and serve. Always check with medical professional or a doctor before using essential oils as they can interact with other medications and supplements. A native pot is a convenient way of performing nasal irrigation with saline water. Research shows that nasal irrigation is good for more than just a stuffy nose. It can reduce the symptoms of wet cough in both children and adults. It can also soothe sore throat. However, if you use nasal irrigation, be sure to use filtered water rather than the tap water which may contain harmful bacteria. Staying hydrated and avoiding dehydration is extremely important when you are fighting off an infection. It also keeps your throat from drying out or becoming irritated or inflamed. Aim to drink at least 8 ounces of glasses of water per day. If you have wet cough with sore throat, then you can consider warm salt water gargle. Gargling with warm salt water is one of the simplest and most effective home remedies. The salt here pulls out the mucus from your swollen and inflamed tissue. Salt water gargling helps to relieve the discomfort and scratchy throat. Add about 1 4 teaspoon of salt in lukewarm water. Do the salt water gargling several times each day. 
Now let's talk about the medicines. Medicines that can be used to treat productive cough include expectorants and mucolytics. Expectorants are substances that help to loosen and expel mucus from the lungs. They include guaifenesin, ammonia, senega, sodium citrate and epicacoana. In comparison, mucolytics such as bromhexin and acetylcysteine help break down thick, sticky chest phlegm, making it easier to cough up. Cough syrup is usually available as a combination product. It also contains a decongestant to relieve a blocked or stuffy nose. But make sure that it should not contain cough suppressant. Combination products with cough suppressant are generally not suitable for people with a productive cough. Also, some ingredients may not be suitable for people with certain medical conditions. So it's always better to consult a doctor before taking any medicines. Alright, that's all for today. Comment below and let us know which remedies you specifically found helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.